Hi guys, welcome back to Will the Beard Reviews. Today we're talking about Teen Titans issue 26, written by Adam Glass and art by Bernard Chang. Now, I was super excited for this issue because I read the synopsis of it and it seemed like it was going to be a heist issue. Um, that's just the way the summary made it look, like they were having to break into the Batcave and get past all of Batman's security and get past this and get past that. And to me, it just felt like the description that would fit a heist film, which I love me some heist films. And this issue isn't like that. So for most part, this is a fairly disappointing issue, mostly because of my expectations for it that were maybe falsely set by the uh, synopsis that was posted on DC's website, which I read and go over in my What's on Your Pull List videos that I posted uh, Monday for this week. So uh, let's go through this issue. So the um, the team is starting there. They're just traipsing through the woods, and then they get to... Um, they just basically just walk into the back door of the Batcave. Like, literally. They just... They've like been walking for hours... And then he opens like a hole in a rock face or behind some trees and boom, they're in the Batcave? Um, no alarms, no security systems, nothing like that. Now it's presumable that uh, Damien has some sort of access codes or maybe built in a back door, um, a back door th to the security system, not this physical, literal back door, more of a figurative back door, but the comic doesn't actually tell us any of that. They literally just waltz into the Batcave, which, you know, just waltz into the Batcave. Um, I mean, I feel like I should be Boromir. I should, you know, throw up a, a Boromir mirror. You, someone does not just walk into the Batcave. Um, but there is some cool stuff once they get in there. One, I love, love the Tim Burton 1989 Batmobile. You've got the Tumblr in there from the Nolan trilogy. This looks like a Dodge Charger, if I know my cars, um, and that looks, I don't play video games, so don't crucify me in the comments if I get this wrong. This looks like the Warthog or the ATV thing from the Halo games, maybe? Ugh. Like I said, don't yell at me in the comments, and this looks like an Aston Martin, maybe. Again, I'm not a car guy either, don't, don't blow me out in the comments. Anyway, so they get there, and Damien is like, we need information so you i need you to put, put a backdoor remote access into the batcave's computer and he gets roundhouse to do it and roundhouse rattles off a bunch of crap of what he's got to do trying to impress crush and it doesn't really work um one i don't think roundhouse has the ability or the i we haven't ever been shown that he has the technical ability to actually hack the Batcave computer and do the things that he's saying. I'm not saying he's not capable, I'm just saying I don't remember the story and the writing setting up his character in that fashion. If it was Oracle, uh, if it was Batgirl, um, another technically savvy character like Cyborg or uh, Mr. Terrific, someone like that, I believe that. But we, to my, to my knowledge, I don't think this character has been set up in such a way to uh, make it believable that he can do that. Could be wrong, I don't know. But it is also becomes clear that Damien is, that is almost like the distraction for the rest of the team. Well, he goes upstairs and gets something else, which we'll circle about around to, but also, Dijin disappears for a minute. She says later on that she was trying to figure out how to turn off the alarm that they trip, but she disappears before that, um, no idea what she was doing. She's up to some shady crap. We don't really know much about her history. It's been hinted at a couple times in previous issues, but we don't really know what she's got going on. Um, and then this exchange between Damien and Alfred is amazing. Um, they just go back and forth, and one of the best parts is um, D Damien here says, if... Um, if chaos is what it takes to clean the slate, then so be it. We can rebuild from the rubble. And he means we have to sink as low as that we have to get down to the level of the criminals and go like scorched earth policy. And then if that's what it takes, so be it, then we can rebuild. Then Alfred says, it seems I was wrong. You don't sound like your father. You sound like Raish al Ghul. Ooh, mm. Dagger to the heart right there. Good, good stuff. Um... 
Did I? Hang on. I may have just, while I was flipping through this, real did. So I just noticed that as Damien is going back down to the Batcave through the, the grandfather clock entrance, Dejin is standing right there. I did, did she impersonate Alfred? Or was Alfred actually there? Because Damien earlier said um, to Alfred, you're usually like having tea with somebody. Um, he said, you're usually, you usually have tea with Arun on Saturday mornings. And he says, Alfred says, he's visiting family abroad. You should have called ahead. I would have prepared. Is, did Dijin impersonate Alfred? I don't know. What do you think? Because I just caught that while I was, I was filming this video. Let me know. What do you think? Let me know down, down in the comments. And then this bat bot shows up and basically beats the Teen Titans ass, which is semi-believable. I mean, I believe that Batman could program a bot to do that. Um, I don't know. It's iffy. Not that great a plot point. Uh, but then we also find out that the bad guys that Damien has been keeping and holding onto in this, like, penitentiary underneath their headquarters, um, Red Arrow also knows about it. And then he, and what Damien actually took was this little bitty Batman, uh, like, this chest. Not sure what is in that. I don't believe I've seen that before. Um, and he said, like, there's been a lot of back and forth about Jason. Like, Jason's been feeding Damien information, which, has it really been Damien? Not quite sure. Or has it really been Jason? Not quite sure. We'll, we'll see what happens. And it says, Robin versus Red Hood next in Teen Titans Annual number one. So I'm very curious about that. Um, this, like I said, this was a mediocre issue, um, at least to me, because it kind of failed some of my expectations about it being more of a heist issue. But we did get some cool character moments. So maybe it's a meh issue, not a disappointing issue, but definitely not a great issue. Um, so anyway, those are my quick thoughts on Teen Titans issue 26. What did you think about this issue? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here at the channel, hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. And until next time, we'll see you at the comic shop.